Hi everyone and welcome to my list of the top 25 greatest J-pop albums of all time. Yay! Now obviously this is my list, my opinion. My opinion is irrelevant. So if your favorite album or artist or whatever isn't on this list, like I promise you it doesn't matter. This is just for fun. Okay? All right. Um, now I'm not gonna do like a full review or like break down the track list or anything like that. Like I'm just gonna share my list and give a brief opinion. Also, my shirt is really cute. It's like Care Bears. I'm really upset that you can't see it all, but just know, just know my shirt is cute, okay? Um, all right, let's get started. So number 25. Also, if you see me looking down, I have my like physical paper list off to the side here, so that's what I'm looking at, okay? All right, number 25. Love Wars, yay, by Yumi Matsutoya. Yes, um, let's take a look at the CD. I'm not gonna go to like the booklets and everything, but just a quick look. Um, yeah, I love this album. I think it's like an essential, like 80s J-pop album. If you're like, haven't delved into that, like this is the one to listen to. Um, Wanderers, iconic. Um, yeah, I think it kind of loses me a little bit in the middle, but overall, like, the vibe is there and yeah that's why it's like it's my least favorite of the 25 because there is some filler but still excellent okay okay number 24 we have pink lady can you see it it's like a, this is a vinyl obviously and magical music tour yay can you see them look at them queens um this is the only spoiler alert this is the only album that's from the 70s that's on my list um if you don't know pink lady are like the queens of like late 70s j-pop like the disco queens um but they actually don't have like a lot of studio albums like this is like one of like two actual or two or three like actual studio albums but i really love it it's like a concept album like if you could tell from the artwork it's kind of like music inspired from like all around the world which i love um i think there's this, i forget the full title something called like rio i think like queen of rio is one of the songs love it um yeah just like from start to finish it's just like such quintessential like pink lady i love it it's iconic yes okay next number 23 we have triple by matsura aya yay so if you don't know matsura aya was like one of the biggest Hello Project idols ever. Oh my god, stuff is falling out. That was the case. This is the actual true case. Um, and yeah, I think, obviously, I think this is her best album. Um, like, the singles are all amazing. Like, Nay, when, like, Nay, I want to say it's my favorite Hello Project, like, one of my favorite Hello Project songs ever. Loves it. Um, and yeah, I feel like if for someone's like, I don't really like idols, and I'm like, I, like, this is like an album to listen to because it's like quality music from start to finish and also look at the little oh we ship her little mascot it's so cute if it focuses it's so cute um there's also a poster in here should i unfold it i'll give you guys a little taste i think it's just like her and her kimono okay let me put that back real quick um so i can show you the next one okay so next, number 22, we have The Face by Boa. Okay, I don't care. This is my favorite Boa album. I think it's iconic. Um, yeah, so say what you will. I think it's her best. I think Brave, the song Brave, Brave, got tier. Amazing. The opening track, Aggressive, iconic. Um, I honestly just love every song. Like, I think every song is like, about or not even like even the ballads i like the ballads like i don't care i think they're good so yeah i think this is great like mid no i guess it's more like late 2000s j-pop she slayed it i don't care it's like your bow album yeah um okay moving on number 21 is maximum by max yes this is max his first album um and it's legendary like come on i'll take it out a little plastic um has like a nice little like custom 
I don't know what to call that, but it says Ape Extracts on it. There they are, the CD. Um, yeah, I mean, this is from start to finish, your beat. So if you don't like your beat, you're not gonna like this album, but if you don't like your beat, you don't have good taste in music, so <laughs> just saying. Um, yeah, the only reason I have this kind of lower on the list is because it is kind of one note. I mean, it is one note from start to finish. It is your beat, like dance songs the entire time, which is fantastic, but I do like a little bit of diversity. So that's why it's kind of lower. Okay, now number 20. That's not 20, that'd be four, but 20. Um, we have Wave by Yuki. Yes, Yuki's like an artist I've always liked, but like recently I've just like fallen in love with her music. Um, I think this is like the perfect album if you're not familiar with her to like get into her music. Um, I guess we'll take a quick look. I don't even know there's pictures in here. No, there are pictures in here. Um, yeah, this, so she started off with a very like rock sound when she first debuted and then kind of transitioned more into like electronic sounds and this is like I think the perfect blend I think every song is like very unique yeah she's a very unique girl and yeah like honestly like every song on this album like I really enjoy so yeah loves it wave Yuki okay next we have number 19 love honey by Otsuka Ai this is like the CD plus good edition Oh my god, this video was found! Um, there's the CD. Let me show you. It's like really cute. You can see it. Um, yeah, I love this. Osaka is like one of those artists where I feel like she just gets better and better and better as her career went on. Here's like the, the fabric spray that it comes with. I was gonna spray it for you guys, but like you won't be able to smell it, so it's kind of pointless. But um, it smells really good. Um, yeah, love, but the album itself, Love Honey, um, it's such a, I don't even know how to describe it, but I think that's what I love about it. It's like, it is like electronic and poppy, but also like very, just very, like, I'm like describing it very badly. Just, it's a good album. There's nothing else like it, which I love. So, um, in particular, I love the songs Queen and Makeup, Slay the House. Okay. Number 18, we have Platinum 9 Disc by The Morning Musume. Yes, this is my favorite Morning Musume era. I love Platinum era. I think this is the best Hello Project album ever. Um, hold on, it's in plastic. I'll take it out. Um, yeah, literally all the singles perfect. It's like all the album tracks are really good. This is the CD DVD, not the that interesting but um yeah this is another one like I said with like Monster Aya if you're like not someone who thinks like they're really a fan of idols this is like an album to listen to because like every song is like good and like this is when when I was saying had a lot of members that could actually like sing so if you appreciate vocals you'll enjoy this um yeah I love the intro track songs serve um Every song, honestly, gets you. Sayu solo song, iconic. So yeah, just legendary, loves it. Um, okay, number 17 now, we have Change Myself by the one and only iconic. Um, yeah. Oh, it's the same thing, okay. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, iconic was like a new artist, well, she was a new artist, like, at the end of, the, like, was it 2009, I think she debuted. Um, that, like, Avex was, like, really pushing. Um, but Japan was, like, mm, she's cute and kind of wasn't eating her up. But this album deserved to sell millions. Like, it's so good. Especially this song, like, Crystal Girl. Like, if you don't, if, if you don't listen to any other song from this album, listen to Crystal Girl. Listen to Crystal Girl. That's all I'm gonna, that's all I need to say about this album is... Listen to Crystal Girl. Okay. Next we have number 16. Hold on, I have to put this back. Um, we have another vinyl. We have, I hope I'm saying this right because I've never heard anyone else say it out loud, but I think it's just D404 Me by Akina Nakamori. 
Yes, Aries Queen, we love it. Um, yeah, from the first time I heard this album, I was like, I love, like, I love it. Like, this has always been my favorite album from her. It's very, um, just like mainstream, like 80s pop, which I eat up. I think, um, I don't say every song is good, but Mona Lisa, yes, that's my favorite. Mona Lisa is amazing. Um, I also love the intro to it. Um, let's see what's in here. I think it's just the actual vinyl, which is like covered in plastic or paper, or whatever. Another is a booklet. Hold on. Well, actually, that was worth it. Oh, I think there is like a picture. Isn't that? That just like <laughs> There you go. There's Akina. But yeah, this album. This is once again like. If you're new to 80s J-pop, listen to this album. Just do it, okay? Okay. Um, next, we have number 15. Oh my gosh, we're already at 15. I'm doing good at keeping this moving. Okay, number 15, I just showed it. It's Break the Rules by Nami Amuro. Yes, this is my favorite Nami album. I think, like, this is like the first album I feel like I really think like Namie's like heart is in this album. Like this is like something she would actually like listen to herself. Um, I love it. I think it's very like unique among her albums. Like every song like stands out to me. Um, like uh, let's see, Better Days. I love that song so much. It's so underrated. Um, honestly, all the singles are great too. Um, let's see what else do I love. Looking for you. Oh my god. I think that was her first like fully English song and honestly her best English song it's so good Himawari amazing I definitely got some of these songs I will say got improvements when she re-recorded them for like other compilation albums but still even the original versions are still great like I love this album yeah okay number 14 we have Step by Megan yes we love a good I have two versions of this actually. We love a good Yasutaka album. Um, yeah, I think this is like another one. Like the first time I heard this album, I was like, okay, like why is this so amazing? Like why is why is she not a bigger star? Like wake up Japan, that's all I'm gonna say. Like literally, here's the track list. I guess I should have been showing the track list for the other albums, but who really cares? Um, like literally, every, like Magic Kittenish, Prison Boy, Supersonic, Searchlight. Like every like, there's only eight actual songs on the album, and I would say of the eight, like I absolutely love six of them, and the other two are still cute. So, yeah, like if you're like a fan of like Perfume and like haven't really delved into Meg, like listen to this album. Just just do it. Okay. Next we have, where where are we? Number 13, we have Vivid by Crystal K. Yes, another super, super underrated album. Like, I don't understand why this flopped. Like, I, I don't. Like, I feel like this is, if you couldn't tell by now, like I love just very poppy albums and like this, this is a perfect pop album from like start to finish, like perfection. Like every song is just so good. Um, let's see some of my favorites. I love Take It Outside, Yo-Yo, Superman, Haru Arashi. Like, I, I mean, literally every song is like great. Like listen to this album, buy this album, stream this. I don't know if you can stream this album if you're not in Japan, but I don't care. Find a way, just listen to that album. Okay, um, next, number 12, is Windy Shadow by Matsuda Seiko. Yes, I love Matsuda Seiko, I love this album. Nothing too exciting going on there. Um, yeah, I think this is like the perfect blend of like her very early 80s, like very quintessential idol music blended with more of her like just like pop dance sound. Like, it's perfection to me. Like, I love every song. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, <laughs> so, like, I think it's just a great 80s pop album, and she looks cute, and I love the cover, so, 
yeah, we love Wendy's shadow, so it's fine. Um, okay, number 12, ready at 12, oh my gosh. So number 12 is Girls Forever by Kata. Yes, this is another one I have two versions of. Um, once again, just like, just like pop perfection. The song, Oops, that should have been a single. That's all I'm going to say. That should have been a single because it is so good. It is so underrated. Like, they literally slayed. Like, this, like, like, all the singles too, like, Electric Boy and, like, Speed Up, like, it's so good. It is so good. Um, yeah, like, I obviously, I, I love every car album, but, like, this album in particular, like, I feel like it kind of gets overshadowed by, like, Supergirl and, like, like, no, like, this is better. Like, I'm sorry, this is better. This is, this is the best J-pop album released by, like, a K-pop artist. Like, no question. Like, this is the best. I don't want to hear it. That's the best. Okay. So that was number 11, so we're almost at the top 10. Well, no, we are at the top 10. We're at the top 10. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so exciting. Okay, so number 10, we have 36.5 degrees Celsius by Miyuki Nakajima. Now, I don't, like, speak fluent British, so I I feel like that's hot, though, right? Like, 36 degrees Celsius, like, that's hot, I think. Or is it really cold? I think it's hot, because, like, I feel like it's, like, a summer album. Um... Yeah, I mean, this album did great in Japan, but, like, I feel like with... Okay, that, there she is, falling from the skyscraper. I'd save you, Miyuki, don't worry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, this, like, this was, like, a huge, massive record in Japan, but, like, I feel like Western stands really don't talk about Miyuki that much, or, like, this album in particular, but, um, listen to it. It's definitely not on streaming, or I don't even know if you can buy it from iTunes, but... You have to listen to this album. That's all I'm going to say. You have to listen to it. Like, it is so good. She got, like, Stevie Wonder to help produce the album. Like, the synths. Like, this is, like, quintessential, like, synth pop, 80s pop perfection. Plus, she's also, like, like a folk singer. <laughs> but, so, like, there's, like, a couple of songs in there, too, that, like, more, just, like, stripped back, which are also gorgeous. Um, Her voice is very unique, if you haven't heard her before. She is a songstress. Um... You just listen to this album, like, find a way. Okay, number nine, we have, where is she? Number nine, we have Kingdom by Koda Kumi. Yes. Um, this one I feel like I don't talk about a lot because everyone knows this album. And if you don't know this album, you should. Like, come on now. Um... It is like another one where I feel like every song could be a single. Like every song is so good. Um, I love a cute Kodakumi moment. So I love like Kue no Maho. I love that song. Um, what else is on here? Under. I think that's such an interesting song. I love that song. Himitsu. Like, yeah, just it's excellent. It is the best Kodakumi album. I don't care what anyone else says. It's the best. I think that's my guess with case. Um, yeah, Kingdom Slay. Okay. Number eight, we have Triangle by Perfume. Another album where I feel like everyone who's watching this probably has heard this album, as they should. Um, this is the CD DVD version. They're both kind of boring though. Um yeah, this is the album that made me fall in love with Perfume. It was the first one I think I listened to from start to finish, and it's still my favorite. Um, I love, like, the 80s kind of, like, vibe that a lot of songs have, like, Night Flight, and I Still Love You, and The Best Thing, like, amazing. Like, that is, like, my favorite, like, Perfume, like, sound. Is that, like, ugh, it's so good. I wish they would kind of return to that, but maybe one day. We'll see. Yeah, Triangle Perfume, iconic, legendary, you already know. Okay, next we have number seven. Lucky number seven is Rosette by Kuro Shizuka. Yes, um, this is actually from 1990, but it still very much feels like an 80s album. It's just, 
got that classic Shizuka sound, like, uh, we love it, we eat it up, um, I'm gonna track this, like, the opening track, Dungai, is, like, amazing, um, second track, Mirage, is amazing, like, they're all amazing, like, like, there's only eight songs, if you could see, there's only eight songs, and they're all not good, they're all great to amazing, like, they're all fabulous, so, yeah, just, just listen to that album. Okay. Number six. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already almost at the top. Oh, this has been going on for 20 minutes. Okay, let me keep this under like half hour. Oh my god. Number six is Ultra Blue by Utari Ikaru. Another one I'm not going to talk about a lot because I'm sure that you've heard this album. Um, But yeah, this is just like peak, peak, peak Utada for me. I love just like the like ethereal synthy sound that almost all the songs have um the song making love is my favorite kind of song ever i love it so much i wish you would do it live someday um yeah i mean yeah i'm not gonna go on about it. ultra blue is like one of those albums that like gets like praise by like critical praise fan praise and it deserves it it deserves it okay all right so before we get to the top five i do have five honorable mentions i'm gonna go through real quick so just, just stay there. Hold on. They're right here. Um, okay. So, for the honorable mentions, real quick, I have Love Race by Tomi Kahala. Kahada. Um, yeah, one of the best, like, TK produced albums ever. Um, my favorite song is just Real Love Night. Yeah, loves it. Like, quintessential 90s J-pop. Listen to the album. It's amazing. Okay. Number four, we have Liberty by, oh my god, I don't want to pronounce her name, Milia Kato, I think. I never said it out loud. Um, this is one of the albums, the reason why it's like not in the top 25 is because I will say this, look, there's 17 like songs, like not like interludes, not intro, like 17 songs, there's a lot of songs, and some of them, they should have been cut. I'm gonna be honest, like if they got some of the Dead Weight Alice album, it could be like even better, but it's still great, the song Fashion, her best song, just listen to it. Okay, um, number three for honorable mentions, I have Weather Girls by Weather Girls. Um, <laughs> Sheer Lloyd by Sheer Lloyd. It's just another one, like, even though, like, the idols, like, don't be scared, like, it's the production on this album is so good. It's, like, the catchiest pop songs ever. But I will say, like, their vocals are just kind of, like, they don't bother me, but they also, like, they don't stand out at all. Like, anyone could sing this album and I would like it. But, Listen to this. It's great. Every every song is just like catchy, fun, pop. Ooh. Okay. Number two, I have Destiny Line by Liga Dazan. I love me some Liga Dazan. Um, I think this album is great. I think the production of it isn't the best throughout. I think some of the songs are great, but some of the other ones are like filler. So that's why it's in the honorable mentions. Um, but yeah, like, I would say my favorite song is Are You Feeling For Me? Bop. Okay. And then, oh my god, hold on. Last one's a vinyl, so let me get that real quick. Okay. So the last one I have here, oh my god, um, is Echo, which is a split album between Chada and Yuki. I also have it in CD form. Um, the only reason why this is in the honorable mentions is because it's still so new. It was just released in 2020. So I feel like I still need more time with it. Um, but yeah, absolutely listen to this album if you missed it last year, like, because I feel like a lot of people slept on them, which is okay, but let's do it now. It's so good. Like, it's, it's like, it's like dancey, but like, but also like experimental, but like, d d d d just listen to it. Okay. Woo! That's the honorable mentions. So let's get back to what we're really here for. Top five J-pop albums of all time, period. Full stop. Okay. Okay, so number five, we have, this is really big, hold on. Magazine by Mesa Kuroki. Yeah, okay. I One has like a DVD with her music videos and one has like a concert on it, but um, yes, album, oh my God. Mesa's another one that I kind of didn't get into until like a couple years ago, but I'm so happy I did. First of all, if you couldn't tell, she's probably the most gorgeous woman in the world. Like, honestly, like, no joke. Like, 
Come on now. Come on. But this is another one like, like just every song says like pop perfection. Like, let me look at track list real quick. Um, oh, Switch, Switch, the song Switch. Oh my God. How was that not a single? How did that not sell like 10 million copies? Like that song is amazing. Amazing. Um, like yeah, every song is amazing. I feel like she should have been, I feel like Japan said, oh, it's a pretty girl, let's hate on her. So they didn't buy her album, but they should buy her album. It's amazing. Everyone listen, listen to this album. That's all I'm gonna say, just, it's amazing. Underrated. Yeah, okay. Number four. Wait, I was looking at the honorable list, hold on. <laughs> Number four is Swag by Itano Tomomiya. Yes. Um, this album is amazing. Another one, like, it's just like, every song is just like about, like, Dear J, the grip that has had on this society. Come on now. Um, and just like the lyricism throughout the album, I just feel like she really captured like the voice of this generation. And she even wrote some of the songs herself, like like girls do, she wrote herself. I remember like the lyrics were like, yeah, I'm the naughty girl that everyone's talking about, which I feel is like kind of like a metaphor for how like she's a naughty girl and everyone talks about her. Like, well, like that's really deep. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. Like if you haven't listened to Swag by now, what are you doing with your life? Like, I don't, I'm not even gonna like bother explaining that any further, like, it's swag, like, stand it, like, stream it, like, whatever, okay. Oh my god, top three, I'm gonna keep this under a half hour, I swear. So number three, Tommy Airline by Tommy, February 6th, oh, Tommy February 6th, um, let me take out plastic for you. Um, this is another one, like, if you haven't heard this album by now, what are you doing with your life? Um, hold on, there's like a lot of crap in this album. Let me show you real quick, real quick. So I got, I got to keep this going so people don't exit out this video. Okay, so like, like, look how cute this is. Like little luggage tag, and like, oh my god, like an actual ticket. Like I want to go on, I want to go on Tommy Airline. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Oh, I actually talked about the album though. Um. Just like her mind for releasing like this like 80s synth pop like perfection, but like in the early 2000s, like who else was doing it like her? No one, no one, that's who. Um, and then she got a collab with like little twin stars, like my favorite Sanrio characters. Like, are you serious? Like, I really, I really feel, I really feel like somehow we are like energetically aligned and she just knew that I needed this album in my life. Like she, she knew, like, I, I, I feel like we're connected, but um, okay. Um, my favorite song is, uh, The Rose Fragrance. Yeah, no, The Rose Fragrance is the best to me. Yeah. Uh, but every song is just like amazing. Like she knew what she was, doing. like she knew, and this wasn't like, oh my God, I can't, put no, she knew, she knew what she was doing. Okay, so that's number three. We, we only have two albums left. We only have two albums left. This is very exciting. So number two, I'm, this one's gonna come as a shock. I'm, I'm, I, you might not know, but I'm a fan of like, Mi Hamasaki. And my favorite album is Rainbow. Very fitting. Um, we love that boot disc. Look at that. Look at, look at her, amazing. Um, I feel like it's another album, like, you, you should know this album, but if you don't, like, it's very, uh, I wouldn't call it experimental, but it's like the most experimental that I was ever gone. I feel like, um, like they, all the songs, like even they don't all sound exactly the same, like they fit together. Like this is a cohesive album. I love all the interludes. Like it really ties the album together. Like some of my favorite songs, like Everywhere Nowhere is my favorite IU song, period. So underrated. Everywhere Nowhere, I listen to it. Um, free and easy, like, what was that masterpiece? Like, hello, um, real me, iconic, legendary, July 1st, everyone loves that song, like, hello, summer, like, 
Okay, yeah, just rainbow. Yeah, like obviously IU has like tons of amazing albums, but like this one, this one just stands above for me. Like it is so good. Rainbow, stream it, buy it, listen to it. Okay. But that's only number two. We still, we still have a number one. Any guesses? Okay, well, you're wrong because, or you may be right, but number one, the greatest J-pop album of all time, Supreme Show by Ami Suzuki. Yep, yep, nar, nar, it's true, it's true. That's not a good shot, but. Okay, this, al this album. If you never listen to this album, like, it feels like, okay, listening to this album feels like someone has like liquefied a Yas grenade and like injected it into my veins. Like that, it, it, I don't even know how to describe it other than that, like. I will say this album is definitely like this is an album for fat for fans of like electro pop music like but but I've also like I said before like with Europe like if you don't like electro pop music you have bad taste in music <laughs> like I'm sorry like that's just how it is like if you don't like if you don't like this album like I'm sorry like oh that's so embarrassing for you okay um uh, oh she just slid out the little book that just slid out um I did go for 30 minutes, but it's okay, it's for Ami. Um, let me show you, let me, sh let me show you the little poster before we go. The double-sided poster, mind you. Look at that. Look at that. Like, are you kidding me? Look at her. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, she, she's amazing. She's gorgeous, talented. Not everyone has that. Um, but yeah, um, Supreme Show, greatest J-pop album of all time. Probably my second favorite album of all time. There's one album I think is better. But when it comes to J-pop, it's done. Like, no one, no one, even Ami herself, I don't care. She'll never top Supreme Show. Like, Supreme Show, it was the moment. It is the moment. And it will always be the moment. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Um, bye.